So we were we were wondering, do you have a daily rate at the moment? I do. I do. Yes, it's ten thousand sterling. This is Seoul, home to the headquarters of Hanson Consulting, a South Korean company with plans to expand into the UK and Europe. And this is Su Yon Lee, the company's vice president of external affairs. She's trying to recruit British MPs to join the company's international advisory board and has been conducting job interviews on Zoom. Can you see me? No, oh, I, I can't see you yet. There we go. Hello. Oh, hello there. Very nice to meet you. Good morning. How are you? Great. Hi. How are you? What these MPs don't know is that Hanson Consulting doesn't actually exist. It's been entirely made up by led by donkeys. It has no headquarters, there's no advisory board, no clients, no money and no staff. Oh, and Su Yon Lee is an undercover reporter. I'm Anthony Barnett and for many years I've been investigating the financial interest of politicians of all main parties. I was approached by Led by Donkeys to help them conduct an experiment after the recent scandals over MPs and their second jobs. In the middle of a cost of living crisis when people need their MPs more than ever, would a serving member of parliament still consider taking a job furthering the interests of a foreign company on top of their constituency duties? And how much would they want to be paid? Second jobs have been in the news a lot in recent years. The Owen Patterson scandal shook the House of Commons. Former Attorney General Sir Geoffrey Cox faced criticism for earning hundreds of thousands of pounds working as a lawyer. And then Matt Hancock took a six-figure sum to go into the jungle. Even Rishi Sunak said he was outraged at that, throwing Hancock out of the Conservative Parliamentary Party. I've been very clear that I was very disappointed with the decision he made. I think there's lots for us all to be getting on with at this time, and that's what I think people should be focused on. It's not against parliamentary rules for MPs to have second jobs or third jobs, and there are no restrictions on how much they can earn. In fact, some claim MPs having second jobs brings important experience into the House of Commons. But a clear majority of the public think it's wrong for serving MPs to also work for private companies. And while successive governments have promised action on MPs' outside interests, little appears to have changed. Dozens of MPs now earn lucrative fees from second jobs. And as long as they don't lobby for those that pay them or provide paid parliamentary advice, they're not breaking any rules. And maybe that's the problem. Now Led by Donkeys wanted to know if the recent backlash around MP's second jobs had changed anything. There was only one way to find out. First, we needed a name for our fake business. We chose Handsome Consulting from South Korea. We knocked up a website describing ourselves as a boutique advisory firm providing tailored and holistic consultancy services, whatever that means, and then we added some testimonials from non-existent clients who wax lyrical about how brilliant we are at doing whatever it is that we do. Then we paid a few hundred pounds for a fake virtual office and just like that Hanson Consulting was formed. It just needed some British MPs for its international advisory board. We scrutinised the parliamentary register where MPs list their financial interests and we examined their track records. We approached 20 MPs in total. Because the vast majority of MPs' outside income is earned by Conservative members of Parliament, we contacted 16 Tories, two Labour, one Lib Dem and one Independent MP. We emailed asking if they were interested in joining our International Advisory Board from April as we expanded into the UK and Europe. We said we wanted them to attend six board meetings a year in the UK, Europe and South Korea, in person or virtually, and to be available for one-off meetings and we made it clear we wanted them for their political backgrounds to provide expert insight to help our clients navigate the shifting political, regulatory and legislative frameworks in the UK and Europe. We sent the emails to their parliamentary offices, sat back and waited. Twelve MPs didn't get back to us, two politely declined, one expressed interest and went quiet, but five were interested enough to find time in their diaries for an exploratory meeting. And soon enough, we were conducting job interviews with some well-known faces keen to work for our fake foreign company. We would like to talk about arrangements of fees. I mean, do you have a yeah. daily rate? Yeah, I mean, a, a yearly rate. Yes. I mean, I, I, would, I would say um, as an MP, obviously I don't need to uh, create, you know, earn a, a king's ransom. But I'm looking, I would do anything less than for about 10,000 dollars a month dollars or pounds 
Well, pounds sterling. Sterling's okay. Ten thousand yeah. pounds a month. Yeah. Okay. That sounds. What, what sort of ballpark are you looking at? Actually, um, you were looking into. I mean, this is just a number that's in yeah. front of me. I put it down in my memo, so I'm just looking into yeah. it. So actually, we were looking into eight thousand to twelve thousand pound a day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many days a month is that? Um. I mean, we have six board meetings, but it's just that. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. Will yeah. Be yeah. More, okay. So, more more so days not, back and forth. So. Yeah, we're not not a million miles off. Miles off. Yeah. Okay. I mean, eight eight to ten thousand a day. That's fine. But I'm 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 thinking if there are twelve days that I do a year, that's that's twelve. That's you know. The numbers we can work, we can work with the numbers, but, okay. but yeah, eight, yeah. Hourly rates, maybe. I mean, do you have any number in mind that we were thinking? Um. Well, it, it around fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is. Do you have a daily rate in mind at this case? Um, I, I, I don't know about a daily rate. I suppose seeing your approach and the kind of uh, expectations you'd have, I was thinking something like sixty thousand pounds. Sixty thousand pounds. Oh. As an annual rate. Right? Okay. That's if you certainly think that's far too cheap. Let me know. Over the next few days, join me and Led by Donkeys as we reveal what those five senior MPs said in their job interviews with Handsome Consulting. Interviews in which they expressed interest in becoming well-paid board members and attending company meetings in the UK, Europe and South Korea. Sir Gavin Williamson turned us down during the job interview, but the four other MPs had all been happy to go forward to the next stage. Well, it's particularly if I'm going to Korea, I'd to be compensated for that. Yes, but, definitely. Um, we will arrange all yeah. the compositions yeah. and all that. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm ten thousand a day, and I'll, I'll, I'll invoice it each. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect a regular retainer, but, mm -hmm. but we could do it that way as well. So ten thousand pounds a day. Yeah.